last week and whatnot. But, uh, you with it so far? We only doing 100% modulation. Going to this baby driver into this other big driver. <laughs> and it's going out to the But that should be coming real soon. 301 in the bam. I keep hearing cable up and I guess so. Uh... They know two ways about that. <clears throat> yep, I know two ways about that. Yep, budget built, broke down, no money station. Yep, just a little bit of good equipment and a little bit of a little bit of need some uh, TLC equipment. But uh, yeah, I got something going on here on on the transmit end. I don't know if it's on the receiver. I don't know if it's the transmit. Uh, I can't really hear it so much in the playback. But uh, I don't know if the power supply or whatever's going up in this Cobra. But uh, nevertheless. I'll keep working on it and then working, working it, and working it, and working it until it don't work no more. All right, 301, me and this small station back out. You'll be able to hear it when I uh, send you to the Charlotte Memorial Weekend. I don't hear nothing. Yes. Yeah. Well, I think Hillbilly might need to spit it out. I know it don't belong to him. You got any noise in your carrier? You'll be able to tell right away. You got, you got a uh, oscilloscope. So yeah, man, I think you'll be happy with the gate. Hey, my lord, grab him a few washers stacked on it and work with himself. If I got a good uh, Mother Nature on you or not. But uh, hopefully I'm sounding good over there. I've heard a few gates. I'm pretty happy with it. I know it could be a little bit better, but for now I'm pretty happy with it. We still learning. That's what it's about. It's all about learning. 301 in the BAM. Big Dick really said, uh, if you horny, you know, it beats you meat. If you horny, you know, it beats you meat. Yeah, turn right, right on. Yeah, I got a little bit of Mother Nature on your man, about S5, S, S6 from time to time. They come picking Big Dick Willie come up in there, man. He's about uh, S7 to S9, so. <laughs> oh, but ain't no two ways about it. Yeah, I don't see anything on the uh, on the transmit side here on the program of uh, in the when I'm looking in the scope for the transmit, it's just nice, clean, flat. You know, no no nothing in there with me. But looking at, I think like I said I think it's either overdrive in this SDR play. I might have to add some more filtering on my transmit receive relay. But uh, Dave said it it didn't look too right. But uh, we didn't have time to mess with it last time I was up there, so. Hopefully next time I go see him and uh, I'll have some cash in my hand and uh, we'll be getting this uh, the new board built for it. So, but nevertheless, man, I'm back on this mail. Uh, quarter after slow key to see what was going on. But uh, but yeah, it sounds good. You'll be happy with it. Well, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Get the RE27 and get all this stuff out of the room. I don't like the noise gate, man. I got a real hard clipping noise gate on to get rid of all the noise, and I don't, I don't like that. But I have to run it because of all the blow. And it'll be nice and quiet in here. The old MacDonald had a farm, yeah, yeah, oh. On that farm, he had a big, big Willie, yeah, yeah. It's a BM Technology Shockwave ground plane, 20 feet. Yeah, yeah, big, big Willie, that big, big Willie. Well, I tell you what, man. You got that kind of big shockwave doing what it's supposed to be doing, man. Because <clears throat> I know that other duck plugger ain't down on the ground plane. So you got it going on, man. Keep on with the keeping on. Yeah, I uh, I just started a little video gate as well, man, just to record in the SDR. So uh, um, I didn't feel like starting up the uh, the OBS and getting Facebook Live and all that nonsense. So I'll just uh, I'll post up on YouTube there, and when we're done here, Mother Nature drops on out and puts her skirt back down. I just I just gotta look at this, man. <laughs> it, it sounds so funny. Uh, 
If you want your radio to sound like this, oh, I you're... forgot. I changed. Uh, I was gonna play a little playback, but I changed my uh, my recording device. There ain't no way. I'm just sitting on back while Mother Nature's sitting on this antenna. I'll say yeah. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah, I'm not doing the live thing or none. I am recording OBS at the moment, but I'm not doing no live feed or anything like that right right at this moment. But, uh, yeah, you're going to have to send me a message on your YouTube. I don't think i am uh, got your YouTube channel, so you're going to have to uh, send me a message there. I think I'll go back to... Go back to 10, 10 kilocycles here. All right, it's, now we're back to 10 kilocycles. Give it a little bit more wide band audio. Yeah, man, and I can't wait to get that microphone. That's a nice microphone, dude. That's my next uh, step is to get the RE27, man. That, that microphone right there is just so smooth. I mean, you really tell a difference. Dude, when I'm pretty sure you could tell a difference from going from your other mic to that mic. It's a big difference. 301. Right, I'm working this small mall. Doing it all by myself. Audio. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's a night and day difference. It's crazy. So I started out this whole uh, this whole process with a microphone that was equivalent to a Shure SM58. Um, it was just a $35 microphone from the Guitar Center. It was a Cobalt CO9. It was also made from Electro Voice, but it's like their bottom end stuff. So, <coughs> so uh, moved from there to an Audio Technica AT2035. Um, you really got that mostly for gaming, but um, it, uh, of course, synchronize it in here to the radio. But um, yeah, man, found this gun picker used on eBay, man. So I'm happy with it. But um, yeah, I'm using uh, I'm using Shadow Play through in uh, through Nvidia GeForce Experience. So yeah, I gotta shoot you a picture, man. I, I redid the computer and uh, did a full custom water loop into it. So two radiators, uh, external reservoir, pump combination, and uh, some good old cool blue fluid. 301. What you think? Oh yeah, it's badass. Hell yeah, that's badass, man. Yeah, I, um, I'm going to uh, build me a new computer too, man. Cause right now I'm using my Macintosh and I got it run on Windows 10 7. My laptop, man. It's like fuck your life, Stevie Ray. It's my work computer, man. I really don't. I really shouldn't be using it for play. It's my work computer, so I'm gonna build me a. Take me about, I figure I could build me a good good machine for about 1500 bucks. And, uh, yeah, good afternoon, uh, three birds, six, two, four. 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 I like that water cool stuff. Are you using water or are you using, uh, like that stuff they use in, uh, in the uh, HVAC industry there. E. coli or whatever, <laughs> whatever it's called. 301 and a bam. <laughs> no, it's actually, uh, it's from a company called EK Water Blocks and it's their Cryofuel uh, Azure Blue Premix. It is a solid fluid, so, um, but it's, if you change it every year, you're all right. You know, people have had horror stories of solid fluids cl uh, clogging up their water blocks and, um, you know, all that nonsense. But I'm figuring I'm going to probably change it out about every six months, change color or whatnot. And, uh, but no, it's actually, it's got all the anacrosives and um, everything you need for the, uh, for the water blocks there. So um, no, I originally built it... Uh, and then about a week later, the daggone pump res combo that I had, the pump took a crap. So I had to do a little quick thinking. Thankfully, we have a micro center right down the street and uh, went and got this here uh, pump res combo. Had to mount it on the outside just because of the graphics card and the motherboard and yeah, we got it working. But um, yeah, man, 1500, man, I'd build you a badass computer for, you know, what we're doing and a nice editing rig. So 
No two ways about it. No money in Maryland. We're going to stay May Transmitter having us here talk show with 301 in the BAM. I'm back on the mail. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah. Like, what I got on this laptop is... Uh, Ain't time right there. 16 gigs of RAM. It's the best of the That's pretty rough right now. I hear you start talking about some SDRs and some computer programs and all kinds of stuff. I got priority uh, software that I use, and it's only for Apple for my uh, business and whatnot, so I have to have Apple. But it works really good, man. I mean, it's running, it's running the uh, Power SDR. I don't know where I'm looking at. Let me get a sidebar here, but yeah, you get right one. And I got the focus right interface hooked up to it. And I got the Apache Labs hooked up to it, of course. And uh, yeah, it's working great. Yeah, I mean, you don't necessarily need the uh, the custom water loop. It's just something, you know, uh, I had the thing built for a year and it was fine. I just had an uh, all-in-one water cooler on a CPU. Uh, Ryzen 7 1700X uh, at 4.0 gigahertz at 1.35 volts. So overclocked there a little bit. Eight core, 16 threads, 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, 3200 megahertz RAM and uh, I just acquired. The only reason I did the water loop, honestly, was because I picked up a uh, GTX 1080 Ti Strix, Asus uh, ROG Strix for 400, couldn't pick a dollar. Sold my old graphics card for three, so I only got $100 in that in that graphics card. I about 1500 worth of graphics card and water blocks and all on it, so. But yeah, man, I, we'll get in touch. I'll, uh, I'll, go, I'll go out there. I, I enjoy going and building a little uh, parts and stuff on uh, PC part picker give you a, give you a good recollection of what you what you could look to spend and they normally do have some of the lowest prices out there so I don't know if you guys got a micro center close by or not but that's where I went uh, 99% of the stuff I got was right in store at micro center so anyway 301 let me get on back out the middle of the road I mean it's Dave May transmitter back out Just like that, Mother Nature said, bye, bye, bye.